As we you know, looked at uh, our, our client base and the farms we work with, we've kind of identified there's, you know, in the top 25% in terms of their profitability, what are the things that they do that help them to, to achieve that success? And it's not any one thing. It's a whole series of things that they just kind of do just a little bit better and that uh, keep on that uh, continuous improvement path because that's in the dairy industry, we're always trying to uh, move ahead and that really shows up on our productivity on our farms that we're continuing to increase that per cow productivity. So that's really based on, hey, we're, we're doing a good job, excellent job with our, our cow care and our cow comfort, enable them to continue to be uh, um, perform at a higher level each year. And then as we look at our, our costs, we're continuing to kind of um, dive into, you know, what kind of makes that up. And, you know, as long as we know those costs are increasing, but if we can keep our productivity uh, at or above that same pace, we'll continue to keep our cost of production in line or hopefully maybe even going down a little bit. And then as we look at, uh, you know, areas such as our labor costs, the people we have working with us on the farm, and we know we've got to keep paying them higher levels to be competitive and keep them engaged with us. And so it's about, you know, putting them in positions where they can be the most effective. And so we want to design the dairy so that we don't have bottlenecks or kinks that, that take away for, for what we can get done. So when as we're planning out the dairy, um, and the next steps we're going to make is just continue to kind of be mindful of how do we make the flows work better so our people can perform the best, our cows can, can perform at the level that we have our genetics, and then that success can keep us rolling forward.